Hello Irish Football Fan TV, this is the Instant Match Reaction England 5, Republic of Ireland 0 All goals scored in the second half um, Starting off with the lineup, I thought Hamer got things spot on defensively in the first half uh, Bringing in Mark McGuinness for his debut He played Nathan Calls in what seemed like a defensive midfield position But um, yeah, look, I thought we defended really resiliently in the first half um, I got to see the penalty decision um, in the second half, I got to see it Stonewall penalty on Evan Ferguson If that's Harry Kane, that is given as a penalty The one on Smoddox on a different day, a different ref could give it. It's a 50-50 one, I think. But uh, we arguably should have had two penalties, which then puts the game in England's hands in terms of they have to then come at us uh, to try and get the result. But ultimately, you're playing against a really good England side and they were without a lot of their players here today. But at the same time, they still have top quality players like Bellingham, like Anthony Gordon, like Harry Kane, and so on. So. You're already facing an uphill battle in that sense. Um, so I think the first half we were absolutely superb defensively. Maybe not so much going forward, but as I said, we could have had two penalties in that time. So this, you know, it went to VAR and VAR ruled it off. But for what reason? So what is the point of VAR if it's going to rule out decisions like that, key decisions and big moments? And it, it's just it's embarrassing, quite frankly. But I don't see the point of having VAR if it's going to just cost teams games because I'm not saying that we would have went on to win from this but had we have scored from there definitely it's a, it's a different game altogether I don't see it being a 5-0 we went in a half time and it was 0-0 feeling positive coming into the second half you come out then and then Liam Scales takes down Jude Bellingham after getting a, picking up a yellow card just before that and he gets a, a yellow card then uh, for fouling Harry Kane in the box and it was a penalty Harry Kane scores the goal and then we kind of crumbled from that point onwards um, I think that's where we were missing a bit of leadership on the pitch in terms of uh, international experience I said it, I tweeted earlier I'm not saying that Matt Doherty and Shane Duffy or Seamus Coleman would have been the ones to change the game or anything like that but when you need people to dig in I know Roy Keane has mentioned it a few times digging in when you're, you're, you're you know gone down a man that you, you need then to dig in but we crumbled they got the second goal, uh, then Conor Gallagher got his goal as well after Anthony Gordon scored. Defensive mix-up between Josh Cullen and, and Nathan Collins. And it just put a real dampener on a good display in the first half. And then the English fans' tails were up then because they weren't singing throughout. Uh, in fact, it was the Irish fans singing pretty much the whole first half. And then when the English fans did sing, they were singing about Ireland. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit embarrassing on their end. But anyway... Um, looking around like then they got the fourth and fifth goals Bowen and um, that young lad who's, who's going out with uh, Roy Keane's daughter made a 5-0 I looked there was no way back after it was 3-0 to be honest with you um, Hamer made some subs and you know probably testing people Andrew Moore and came on I thought Mac McGuinness done well in his debut but again you're putting players in a cauldron here um, although atmospheric wise you wouldn't have said that but putting him against England and Wembley on such a big pitch you know with all the players that they have I know you have to, got to give him his debut one way or another but I do think it's something that you got to think about in terms of experience wise I know Nathan Collins was our captain but maybe someone a bit more experienced than him and I know he's became an experienced player an experienced player in the Premier League and so on and so forth but players like Coleman uh, players like Duffy who have had lots of caps would they have been more suited for this defensive performance maybe not Coleman because he's injured um, but just in terms of players who have played there and kind of know when to dig in because they've been there in the past and I know, I'm not saying Shane Duffy's the answer I know he was out injured but when you're taking that little bit of a risk in that sense and I think that's how it showed look England were far superior especially with the extra man advantage they were good enough when they didn't have the extra man so for us to be trying to get a result in this game with a without an extra player look I feel sorry for the fans who travelled over because they probably expected better if Liam Scales doesn't get sent off it's a different game I believe so um, but yeah look I don't want to be going around and hammering players because I don't feel the need to uh, as I said, we're 11 men. I don't think the scoreline's close to what it, what it finishes up as. Look, England are a top side. There's a reason why they're in the final of the Euros. Um, 
they're going to go on and they're going to do well in future tournaments. We're on our own path now. We need to worry about ourselves. We're going to have a few games in, uh, or sorry, we're going to have a playoff in March, and I have the details of that here, so I'll get that up now. Uh, but the details uh, is uh, like who we're going to be coming up against in a playoff to stay in League B. Uh, our potential opponents are Slovakia, Kosovo, uh, almost certainly in the playoffs, and Armenia are the runners up in the Northern Ireland group, so likely Bulgaria. Uh, the draw is at 11 a.m. on Friday, uh, but we've never played Kosovo before, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, uh, that's all for me here at Wembley. Um, a disappointing end to a good start again, uh, with the filling result. I'm absolutely exhausted. I've been doing a lot of travelling around uh, the last couple of days um, with this trip. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to call it a day here. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and uh, we'll, we'll be doing the final word and still going to get back to Dublin tomorrow. So, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.